Baby won't hold it. What up, Flow Fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lex Luminous, and today we are learning more tosses. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yes, friends, we have done some tosses in the past, but we are going deeper into the tosses. So I thought this week could be a lot of fun to work on some more challenging tosses, but it's okay. We're gonna learn them together, and it's going to be fun while we learn. And before we jump into things, make sure to subscribe to this channel, give it a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit those notification bells. That way you get notified when I post new content. And we also have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are Flow Toys, Astro Hoops, Music, Fire Safety, Fun and Motion Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, and Flow DNA. Thanks, friends. And of course, this channel is brought to you by my beautiful, wonderful, Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon member, you can head on over to my Patreon, or you can head on over to my website, luxluminous.com, where I have lots of fun flow arts related clothing, and check out these freaking leggings. You could have your butt looking like my butt, you know? You you could be wearing these super sick leggings. Uh, 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 uh. And this month, my Patreon members were able to help me purchase a, one of those fancy cart things. Like I'm calling it the jam wagon, uh, but it's for my local spin gym because I'm always like carrying so much stuff all the way to our spin jam. So now I can put everything in this little cart and just cart my way down to spin jam. So let's go ahead and jump into these tosses. So if you are brand new to Love You On Tosses, you can go ahead and click this link right here and it will take you to where I actually teach you how to do like just basic tosses, so that way you can get the basic stuff down before jumping back into this video. So go ahead and go there and then come right back because we're gonna get more difficult. It's exciting. Alrighty fam, so the first toss we're gonna go over is an under the leg toss. And it looks like this. Ta-da! Magical. So the way to get into this trick is you're gonna do a vertical toss under your non-dominant leg you're gonna catch it. So it's about one rotation. So I'll go ahead and slow that down for you real quick because it's kind of impossible to do this in slow-mo. I have to slow it down in post. All right, so we're doing the vertical toss. It's gonna do one full rotation and bam, catching your hand. Ta-da! All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next trick. It's actually a variation of that trick we just learned. So if you can do that one, you should be able to do this one. So the variation that we're gonna do is gonna be a toss under your non-dominant leg and catch under your dominant leg. And that looks like this. Ooh, super nice. Okay, so the way that you're getting into this trick is you're tossing it under your non-dominant leg and as it's coming up, what you're gonna do is you're going to catch it from underneath your dominant leg. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down that footage right now. You're doing a vertical toss under your non-dominant leg and then catching right underneath your dominant side leg. And that toss is just one full rotation. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. And that trick is perch tosses. Mm. Get a little perch toss. <laughs> and it looks like this. La, la, la. All right, so the way that we get into this is we go from a regular old perch, and I wanna note that you wanna make sure that the lovey one is not moving at all when you do the toss. So the toss that you're gonna do is a vertical toss, and you're gonna toss it that way. So you're gonna, I usually kind of like bend it down and like flick it real hard like that. So that way you have a little bit more, more, more momentum more momentum in the, the flick action. And a thing that you're gonna notice is that you grab from this side instead of like over here. So I kind of reach in front. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow that footage down for you. All right, so you're doing that toss and look at that grabbing right in front of my body. Oh, very nice. All right, so this trick has some variations. She gets tricky, my friends, real tricky. All right, so the first variation we're gonna do is a perch toss into an under the leg catch. And that looks like this. Oh, nice. Very nice. So with this trick, you have to make sure that the lovey wand is completely still. 
This one is super important because it needs to be very vertical when you do the actual toss. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down that footage for you. All right, so we're doing the same thing. We're giving it a really hard flick. And then as I'm flicking, my leg is already starting to get up there. So that way I can like actually catch it underneath that leg. So that trick is pretty tricky, but once you have it down, you're gonna feel like a freaking dope levy wander queen king person, royalty. All right, fam, let's go ahead and make it more difficult. The next variation. All right, so the next variation is a behind the back perch toss. And it looks like this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that from behind as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down that footage right now. All right, so the most important thing with this is that you're actually doing a horizontal toss. And you can see it from the side too, a horizontal toss, and you're catching it from behind. So just make sure that you don't have the levy wand coming back and hitting your hand or like hitting your back. Okay, so the last trick we're gonna go over is a behind the back toss under your leg. And it looks like this. I'm actually gonna tilt this down a little bit and make sure y'all can see that catch. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that from behind as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slow down that footage for you. All right, so we're doing a no beat toss underneath our leg. And when we're doing this, we wanna make sure that our hand is actually under our butt. So you can see my hand under my butt right there. Okay, these tricks are difficult, but I feel like I have, you know, a lot of faith in you all. If you can get all these tricks down and like make a video and post it on Instagram and tag me in it, posted by the 23rd of August of 2021, just in case you future humans are watching this. Post it on Instagram, tag me, and somebody at random, I will pick and I'll send out some leggings to you uh, for the free, uh, cause that's really dope if you can get all those within a week. And you just like feel free to tag me on Instagram whenever like you get a trick that I have helped teach you and whatnot. I love seeing that. It is my favorite. Alrighty fam, well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on some, you know, some more difficult tosses. It's a lot of fun, don't give up, keep training, and don't train in a small apartment like this. I would highly suggest going outside into the big open spaces to be able to like train this a lot better and like really toss the heck out of it uh, and not worry about breaking things in your room. Cause that is a thing. If you're new or lurking, welcome to The Wand Life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. Oh, Kimmy. I'm so sorry, Kimmy. It's amazing you don't just like run away from my lovey Wanda anymore. You're a good Kimmy. You trust me too much. <laughs> you, you trust my wand skills way too much. See you all on the wand side.